Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. Uh, this is definitely a new format for us. If you're joining us for the first time, we are Mike. And Melanie. Of Two in a Zoo. We are the two, and collectively our family is a zoo just because it's so large. We have five children, uh, ages, newborn through 10 years old, about to be 11 years old, oh mm -hmm. my goodness, and about to go into junior middle high school, school middle school um, but if this is your first time joining thank you so much for joining uh, we just wanted to put out a quick video just uh, mommy and daddy here uh, letting you know where we've been updating you on our family we um, as many of you know we went to Canada for 10 days or so it was, was a shorter so trip shorter trip than we wanted it to be because of coronavirus we left the day before it became a pandemic <laughs> before it was labeled a pandemic right. by the World Health Organization. So the rest of our trip, had, the, the entire trip actually, had that looming over it, this dark impending shadow that told us mm -hmm. we may not get through the whole vacation without having to go home early. And that's what happened. And when we got home, we didn't record as much as we intended to. And for that reason, we want to put out a video to kind of catch you up to what's been happening um, in this time where we have not been putting out videos on our usual um, almost daily schedule, weekday right. schedule. Um, so the kids have been, like many other families, homeschooled during this yeah. time. They are not meeting in their school like basically every other family in America. We are having to uh, homeschool our children during this season. And uh, how, how would you say that's going? And On a scale of 1 think, to 10. When you think of homeschool, you think, okay, you have prepared the whole year. Oh, yeah. And... Like, gotten the curriculum that you wanted and the, yeah. the, the format that you wanted, and we just got thrown into it, yeah. literally thrown into it. Yeah, so um, it's way worse than homeschool in is. that regard, because we didn't choose any of the curriculum. We or didn't any choose of the deadlines or anything. Yeah, projects, lesson plans. Yeah. We are having to uh, adapt to the, the plans of five or six other teachers, because yeah. some of our children have two teachers. It's just the design yeah. of their school is that one teacher will do math and science and the other teacher will do language arts, language arts and social, social studies, studies. Um, so we have as many as I guess we have seven teachers yeah seven teachers we have to maintain yeah. communication with for just four children it's um, crazy it is nuts and you honestly know. like it like I'm just being really real I have been super discouraged at the amount of work I guess yeah. parents have complained to the school board literally that's what I heard and they have changed it completely as of a couple of weeks ago. Because they realized they couldn't continue on at the pace they oh, were. Oh, of course not. Uh, because, it, you know, the teacher already had a routine with these kids, a daily routine yep. that the kids were used to. They've been taken out of that routine. So trying to complete the same number of assignments on a daily basis was, is, ridiculous. was not realistic. Right. Most of the teachers have adapted to that. Some of the teachers have, have not. not. So yeah. those are the teachers that are really trying us. Uh, we're just having yeah. to have grace with the teachers, grace with our child, grace with each other. And I've just basically yeah. just done what I can do at home and whatever doesn't get done oh well it's nothing we can do right. all we can do is just do our best just like everyone else is right now and i think that is kind of life for us doing yeah. our best with the situation we've been given as as you know we've been you know under stay-at-home orders where we live so um the only one to leave the house really has been melanie yep. to shop once a week with a mask and gloves on and then i have gone to and from our church without making any stops probably twice just to be involved in the recording of the worship right. service. For one, for Easter service, I played drums. Yep. I played with the band and played drums. So I went there, kept my distance from everyone in the room, and played drums. We recorded it, and that's what was live streamed Sunday morning to the church because all of our worship services are online. Yep. Um, and we do see that some of you have been joining us on Sundays. That's well, pretty cool awesome. to have the zoo family come to church with us. That is not something we ever had a plan for because we didn't realize any of this would happen right. that would allow it. Um, and then on another occasion, I went and I participated. I uh, I prayed. Mm -hmm. I did the corporate prayer, prayer yep. during that service. And that will probably be happening again here soon. But that's the only time I'm leaving the house. So right. I think I've driven two or three times in the last few weeks. It's definitely strange getting behind the wheel of a car anymore. It feels so foreign. Uh, so to go from road tripping thousands of miles right. to never going anywhere. It's so crazy. It's really, really uh it's jarring. It yeah. is because we were road tripping out across new places, and when we came home, we did the polar opposite. So that's been a little tough. I don't. I don't think we have cabin fever or anything, but I am more likely to have cabin fever than anyone in our yeah, family for sure. Her and because I get out so frequently, like that's helped. Yeah. Um. But like, I need sunshine. I need people. I need 
and I can't have any really yeah. any of that really on a normal basis. Sun so. shines in our backyard. Whatever yeah. sun we get in our backyard, that's it. And and then that's just not the same as going to the beach or something like that. Right. It doesn't give you the same effect. So yeah. uh, we're doing the best we can. And uh, we want to get back on a normal schedule here. And we, we appreciate so much how despite the fact that we haven't been putting out regular content like we want to, we've had so many subs. You know we're up to 114,000 now. No. Like we went on our 100,000 subscriber oh. milestone trip and we're up to 114. The last I told you, I think we were up to 110 and you were like, already? Yeah. We just hit 100,000. And we haven't been putting out videos. That's like the crazy thing. We had, we were steadily getting 1,000 new people added to the Zoo family every week. It's amazing. Blows our minds warms our hearts we love you we're so thankful that you're coming along on the journey of our life with us and uh and we hope that you'll continue watching and sharing our content and helping us yeah. just continue moving onward and upward like all youtubers want mm -hmm. to do um so uh it, it, in that regard we want to relaunch our second channel behind the zoo uh if you're not aware <laughs> we have two channels and one of them just has been uh, uh, dormant. mostly dormant, <laughs> unused for quite a while now. It's called Behind the Zoo, and that's basically like behind the scenes footage of our life or yeah. or the additional challenges stuff, challenges. Stuff, which is what we love. We, we, love, we, do, we, do, we love doing challenges. We love that type of stuff. We, her and I have done the Whisper Challenge many times together. We've been getting a lot of requests for the Whisper Challenge uh, again. again? Oh, yeah, wow. so, and they want to see the kids participate. Oh, so okay. I can imagine cool. like Caleb and Timmy or Katie and Logan trying to do that and just giggling the whole time. Yeah. So um, we're going to relaunch Behind the Zoo and start putting out some steady content over there. That's our commitment to you. We want to do it. We've been talking about doing it and we think this is a great time because we're together. We're quarantined. We play right. games anyways. We right. love playing video games. Maybe, maybe you'll end up seeing some video game content over there because our kids love Animal Crossing. Yeah. Our kids love Mario Maker. They love everything for the Switch. You yeah. know, Caleb Caleb would put out a, a an actual channel of his own that's all video games if if we'd let him. <laughs> uh, maybe in a few years when he's a teenager. I don't know. We'll, we, we, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, make sure you're subscribed to Behind the Zoo. If you just search for that phrase, it'll pop up. Please subscribe there. Less than a third of you watching this are subscribed there. There you go. And there's some people who are subscribed there that don't even know that we vlog over on this channel. Mm. And the reason we keep that content separate is just because of that. Some people who watch this channel, they just want to see us vlog and right. share our life. They don't want to, they don't want the games and all that stuff. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, go subscribe there and you can keep an eye out for stuff we want to do there. In fact, we have a video coming out this week that you will not want to miss, so please subscribe. Also, for our members, we have not forgotten about you. Oh, our man, dear, so dear members, <laughs> we love you that you support this channel financially to help us be able to do this more and more and produce more and more content for you. What that does is it gets you access, ideally, to extra content if we would finally produce some extra content we have for extra you lovely content. people. We, we have just now done two extra content. We have videos. some extra content. In fact, tomorrow, I'm editing a video for our members, a special video that will come out and you will only get it if you are a channel member. What that means is you gotta find that join button below this video, click it and become a channel member and that will get you access to the extra content. There are different levels of membership, so so be aware of what level you're joining. Uh, I do think there's like a dollar ninety nine, four ninety nine, or something like that. So mm -hmm. there's different levels and depending on which level you choose, you'll get different types of content. We have a cute video coming out uh it's a daisy related a daisy milestone video mm -hmm. uh, she's already getting so big folks um so you you won't want to miss that if you're a member and thank you to our channel members who have stuck it out even though we have been mia and not giving you the additional content we do feel bad uh, but we hear from some of you and you're actually just doing it to support us and that so nice that's really that's really special. Uh, and to those of you that have canceled your membership recently, maybe you'll reactivate it now that we're <laughs> going to be back in right. action. Uh, so those are the two things we have coming out this week. We do have some plans for videos on this channel for this week and next week. Uh, and we'll be working on those as hard as we can. But we kind of just wanted to update you and let you know how we're doing. Um, we're, we're just, we're doing well. We're moving, you know, rolling with the punches, yeah. hoping that life in America and, uh, and your country too, wherever you are, opens up soon so that we can get back to uh, normalcy. Right. I am dying to take my family out to dinner. 
I want to take my family. What a simple thing. I'd love to go to any restaurant. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Outback or whatever. Just anything. Jimmy Bear's. Like, that's a a local barbecue place. McDonald's. Well, that's not my dream. I'm dreaming a little (laughs) higher than fast food. Uh, But I just want the simplicity of taking my family to a dinner and seeing Mm. you guys smile and be waited on. None of us have to cook. You and I have been cooking nonstop. And Mike has really been cooking because I'm in class and I've had midterms and papers. And this is another reason why I can't video because I'm just like... Bam, 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 school, bam, school, 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 school. school. Either and the kids' school or my school, or and I live. I'm I'm living school right now. And on that note, we should update them on uh, your application. Melanie is applying to a doctoral program, and she she's shaking her head and trying not to talk because she's 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 in self doubt land, yeah. and she's been trying to talk herself out of it for a while now. Um, even though the, the Lord has basically opened up, thrown open every door before her and. She's received a lot of support from the key people she would want to feel support from. But she puts her application in this week. Yep, Friday. And then sometime, hopefully in May, you would hear back, with ideally with an approval, that you're welcomed into the program. Uh, and yeah. I believe you will be. Uh, I, I, just... I have no doubt. Like I, I have very little doubt that they won't accept me. Although I have doubt in myself that I'm wi- that I'm worthy of acceptance. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, so by self-doubt, it's that. Mm-hmm. It's this... It's it, it can be crippling, so don't do that to yourself. You're smart. You can do it. You can handle it. And um, I remember when I went into my first doctoral program, I felt so inadequate. And it's just something everyone feels. You're not going to escape that. And it, you'll you'll push through it though, and you'll learn. I don't want to cry in my first seminar. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> and I don't I have Mike to like hold me and cry. No, that's no, so sad. No, I'll be in Florida with the no, kids, no. and you'll be in North Carolina, <laughs> trying to tough it through and have some thick skin. Oh man. I Anyways, <laughs> it's an EDD, a Doctor of Education degree, and we'll fill you in in future videos into uh, as to why she's going that route and what she sees herself doing in the future. I think um, I think May will be the right time to, to share that information mm-hmm. with you when she gets her approval. And, and I'm uh, done with my other two classes. And, and yeah, and your classes <laughs> for the semester are over. And on that note, my classes for my PhD are ramping up. And these are my final seminars, Zoo Family. You've been hearing about me, you know, pursuing a PhD since, uh, goodness gracious, since the month after we had we brought our daughter home from India. Was that it? Oh, wow. Yeah, that the month crazy. after Katie came home from India, I put out a video that said, Demon to PhD. Wow. Can you believe no, that? That's crazy. So I already had a doctorate in ministry, and this is going to be my doctorate in philosophy. And uh, oh man, like just wow, that's, that's how crazy. long I've been working on this. That's know, insane. Right? Oh man. So uh, we have a lot going on, as you can tell, and much of it is education focused. All the while maintaining my work, ministry, uh, and everything else that we have going on plus a YouTube channel. But we're going to get back into it, we promise you. We thank you for your patience, for and especially to those of you who are new, we want to set a good precedent with you so that you know that we love producing content. Yeah. Our our community means a lot to us. Um, the, the, the friendship that we have with the people who watch this channel. And as part of that, we want to build that community with you. So we hope that you will uh, comment on our videos and that over time we can try to get to know more of you. It is a lot to manage. There are quite a lot of you now. Yeah. It's way harder than in our first month, in our first uh, few months or the first year. But uh, we still want to try and do that and at least read your comments, like them. If you ever need to get in contact with us, there's always contact information. Uh, address, email address down in the description. Instagram links, Twitter links, Facebook, all that stuff that you can go like our other social media pages and keep up with us. We always try to post something cute, little pictures on Instagram and uh, just maintain giving you a steady stream of content in one way or another. So we love you, Zoo family. Thanks for watching this video. We will uh, hopefully see you Wednesday with a, well, I'm not going to tell them what it is yet, but um, it's it's going to be nostalgic. I'll give you that. And you're not going to want to miss it. So we'll hopefully see you Wednesday and we will uh, look forward to that. See you, Zoo family. Thank <laughs> you.